Hello. It's Fab Fine Friday and I'm just a little bit late. I don't even I don't even know what time it is right now. My battery died in my clock. So I had to work late because we have a big event tomorrow and um had a lot to do to get ready for it. So um anyway, so Fab Fine Friday. Let's see, what did I bring home? So yesterday in case you're new to this, my name is Audra, and um, I like to go thrifting, sh thrift shopping on Thursday afternoons during my lunch hour. The main reason for that is to bring attention to little places here in Tulsa that are working to provide funds and donations and that sort of thing. Uh, well, actually, one place provides meals and food and such for people in the community. One place provides um, assistance with finding homes and medical help and food and that sort of thing for animals in the community. One place provides donations for Little Lighthouse. One place um, helps people get into houses, which is where we went yesterday. And um, let's see, one place helps um, donate funds to veterans um, organizations, as well as giving them extra discounts on their purchases. So that was one, two, three, <laughs> Turning Point, Animal Aid of Tulsa, Middle Earth Treasure, uh, Community Thrift, Habitat for Humanity, Turning Point, Middle Earth. I think that's all six. I think that's all six. And I may have found a new one. I, I just saw it this morning, and so I've got to do a little research. Uh, they were not open when I saw it. It was like eight o'clock in the morning so um, I did see that they're a thrift store and I did see a little sign in their window about um, suicide prevention hotline so um, I don't know if it's just a sign that they put up or if if they use their store to help fund and um, suicide prevention hotline so I'm gonna find out so that would be fun that would be fun to add a seventh one to the rotation so anyway Yesterday, we went to Habitat for Humanity Restore Rack, and um, I picked up a few things. <laughs> and I put a few things back, because I picked up too many few things. <laughs> so, uh, I just thought I would show you what we found yesterday. I see a shadow right over here, and I'm wondering what that is. Maybe it's the fan. Oh, it's my fan. I have this fan I blow on my face while I sleep all night. <laughs> if I was ever to meet somebody, he would have to do some serious accommodating because I sleep with an AC and a ceiling fan and a bit of this fan blowing in my face all night. <laughs> anyway, okay, I digress. Um, okay, so what did I pick up and what did I take home yesterday? I ended up, oh, well, you don't need to see the post-it notes. That's for something completely different that I picked up at Walmart. I ended up taking home these because they're brand new. They're not for Makeover Monday. I grabbed them because they're brand new. They're still in their plastic wrap, and they were $1.98. So, and they were tan, so they were not half off, but still, $1.98 for, you know, that's not bad at all. So, they're great. They're great canvases. I could use them as is or do a reverse canvas type thing. Um, just all kinds of things I could do with this. With these. So I had to grab them. Couldn't help it. <laughs> and then of course I have this obsession. I have an obsession with cutting boards. And so here is a do another $1.98 find. It's a nice cutting board. So I'm going to sand it down because it's got all these little scratches from when they were using it. Sand it down and re and make it over. Make it into something really pretty for decoration. And then I picked up this. It's a little frame. Hi. I'm in my room. And I'm sitting in my rocking chair. Because I'm so tired. <laughs> and I love my rocking chair. It's nice to sit here and be cozy. And this right here, my sister crocheted that. And when I went to see her, 
so that we could go see Third Day on their final tour in, um, she lives in Vancouver, Washington. They were in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I saw the blanket and I, and I said, ooh, I like your blanket. She said, thanks, I made that. I said, oh, that's so pretty. And about a month later, it came in the mail. <laughs> so I got the blanket. All right, so this is a, um, a shadow box, basically. It's a little dirty. I'll have to clean it. So this can be all kinds of fun to make over. Uh, put something inside and then ink on the glass and that sort of thing. Or, oh, I just had a thought. Oh, my goodness. I could put stuff inside and chalk on the glass and then um, change it out for a different season. This would be a nice little decoration for, you know, a small space, right? That can be done over and over and over again. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to put that back together. And then I picked up this. This was priced for $2.98, but it was red, so it was 50% off. All um, red and purple tags were 50% off. And if the tags aren't actually the color that, there's, you know, that, that I'm telling you, then they'll type it on the word. They'll type the word on it. So this was red. So I got this for... $1.50. And I didn't open it, so I'm going to open it. Because I'm curious about this. I'm curious about what this is. Oh, it's for the glass. Okay. The light bulb is coming on. Okay, so, in here are these two pieces of styrofoam, the one just threw on, fell on the floor, and then these two pieces of glass. I don't know if you can see in here. If I do this, I'll get the reflection of the, the ring light on. So there's one piece of glass, and then there's the other piece of glass. So, oh my gosh, the things you can do. You can press something in between, like some pretty paper, or some flowers, or, you know, whatever it is you can press in between. This right here, this is a bonus. And you can like ink or chalk on the outside of it and make a pretty design. And then, when it's done, you put it in here. So this is like the stand for it. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think about this for a little while. I pressed some flowers that are really pretty, so I, but I haven't looked at them. I pressed them in March. I have to take a look at them. I've never pressed flowers before, so I don't know. I don't know if I did it right. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> so that's what that is. And then I found this. This is another obsession of mine. And I have a whole bunch in my back room that I need to redo. This is a Lazy Susan, and it is tan, so it wasn't half off, but it was $2.98. It was $3, and it spins really well. Here, let me do it this way. Well, you can see that it's spinning. It spins really well, and it's got a nice, clean slate, so I can do whatever I want with it. Um, it looks like it's got a couple of chips here and there on the edges, but I think... Um, I think that'll be okay because if I paint it like a really distressed style, the chips can be a part of the design, right? So it can just look like an aged um, piece. I'm thinking maybe we do it black, do it white with some um, black touches to make it look like it's enamel, you know, distressed. So. This could be some fun to do. And um, I'm not i I'm not sure if I can take it apart or not. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it can come apart. So it'll be it'll be interesting to do though. It'll be fun. I can't wait. And then I I I don't normally do this, but I am very, very, very curious 
and it was half off, I believe. Yeah, it was half off. So for a dollar fifty, I thought it was worth it to me to do this. So I did it. And once I find out what it is, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know. But um, it's this. If you know what this is, I would love to be enlightened. See, it's got this hinge. See that? It's got that hinge. Um, and this handle, right? And it it opens up. And this side, ow! I just pinched my finger. <laughs> This side here is smaller. Is it a torture device? <laughs> I just pinched myself with it. I have no idea. I don't know what that is. So if you know what that is, please, please tell me. Please tell me. I would love to know. And then um, I grabbed this. Because it was, a, it was um, I think, a dollar. A dollar ninety-eight. And um, I like using these for storing things and organizing things. And it's teal. <laughs> it's teal. <laughs> the ones I normally find are black or white. This is teal. So I had to have it. And that's it. So what should I make over Monday? I'm not going to make this over. Because <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I tried Google Lens and it was coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, this, I am going to um, have to think about this one for a while. Maybe Google it and get on Pinterest, you know, and check it out and see what I could do with it. Um, I need to be careful with that glass. And then. This, I have done so many cutting boards. I still would be happy to do it, but I've done so many cutting boards. I could, I could do both. I could do, I could do a set. Take these two plain brown scratched up, chipped, chipped and scratched pieces. And um, do something pretty with it. I think I'll do that. So Monday makeover will be these two items. And um, what I'll do is I'll take some before pictures. And I'll do some prep work in advance. So I'll record it while I'm doing the prep work. And then I'll post it before I go live Monday so that the first part of it will be, you know, available. And then I'll finish it Monday night during the live. That way it's not an hour and a half because that's a long time to be doing a live on a Monday night. It's a long time to be doing a live anytime unless you're doing something like crazy, crazy fun. But, um, so that's what I'll do. I'll do prep work in advance and then, um... That's going to be fun because I have to work all day tomorrow and I have to go to Oklahoma City on Sunday for my baby's birthday. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, I may have to do prep work Monday night and then do a second. But I don't know. We'll figure. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So anyway, that's it. That's what I brought home yesterday from Habitat from Humanity. I spent... Um, I think it was $19, $18, more than I wanted to. I'm trying to to um, keep it, you know, about six or less, but I went a little overboard. But there were a few things that I just couldn't, you know, leave behind because, yeah. And quite honestly, my daughter paints. My youngest daughter paints, so she needs canvases. Uh, I send canvases to her, bring them to her when I can, too. So if I don't keep these, they'll go to my baby girl. She free, she free hand paints. She's got some talent. I don't know what, I, I must have been like saving it deep down inside in wit, you know, and then when she was born, I just kind of gave it all to her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so that's it for tonight. Um, 
I hope to see you Monday on Makeover Monday and um, see what we do with the uh, Lazy Susan and the cutting board. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, if you watch the replay here on Facebook, do me a favor and type hashtag replay. And um, I thought I asked a question in the beginning. I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't remember. So that's okay. Just have hash. I'll tell me where you're watching from because I love to see where people are watching from. And I'm just going to sit here and rock my chair. You know what? I should sit here and crochet. <laughs> I won't do that. But anyway, um, yeah, and if you're on YouTube and you want to see the shopping trips and you want to see the makeovers and keep up with what I find and bring home and learn more about these little um, thrift stores that are around Tulsa, especially if you're in or around the Tulsa area, um, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so that you uh, get notified whenever I post things. Okay, that's it for tonight. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. All right. Bye-bye.